All right, guys, it's that time. The 2020 YZ250X is complete. She turned out really good. Um, I'm gonna throw some pre-mix in her now, get her fired up, put her up down the street a few times, shift through the gears, make sure everything functions good, and then what I'll do is I'll bring it back to you guys and I'll show you everything we got into her, how she looks, and so on and so forth. Um, hope you enjoy it. It was a really fun build. Put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this thing. Waited forever for parts. So I'm just excited to have it finally done. And so here we go. guys here she is there's the brand new YZ 2004 slash 2020 YZ 250X when I say X it's because I put the wider ratio transmission in the bike so it's gonna give it that X transmission high wide ratio transmission which is on the 2016 YZ 250X's and newer so here she is, all in her glory. Fully rebuilt KYB Enzo front forks. If you remember, I did rebuild the rear shock myself. The forks are just trashed, a lot of broken parts, could not get. So I just went ahead and had them rebuild them. Do a walk around, and we'll go kind of in depth on what I put in the bike and on the bike. No, that pipe is not crooked. I know people think those silencers are, but FMF actually designs them that way. I thought it was crooked at first, had to do a little research. Designs it that way to shoot the exhaust out to the side, that way they do not burn your fender since, you know, it goes up a little higher since it is a turbine core. There she is. All right. So I got the boys and racing covers on here. Internally, we have a Henson clutch basket kept with tusk clutch plates. 
I have the FMF factory pipe, fatty pipe, the factory look. There's a shock that was rebuilt. See the two tone color. You got the titanium and the, on the black. And then you have the hydro blasted cylinder. Complete wrench rabbit rebuild kit. All bearings in the engine are brand new. Of course, the wide ratio transmission was installed, so all new gearing, vertex piston, new hot rod crank, all new seals throughout the bike or engine and the whole bike. Every bolt on this engine is brand new, as you can see. Every bolt pretty much on this bike is brand new. Every seal, every bearing, every bushing, all brand new. Also you'll see I put the Duval skid plate on here. Keep rocks from breaking the case open. Had the head milled down. So it, it's still milled for pump gas, but I had it. I had the squish milled down a little bit, so it's going to give it a little higher compression, clean it up. Um, I am running VP racing fuel in here right now, but it's it's just for I'm running the T4 mixed at 32 to one. I, I just want to run that in in here. Just I know it's a little more expensive, but keep the bike clean. I want to keep the inside of that engine clean. Maybe it'll last longer. It won't it won't ping and ding as much. Um, so that's the plan. Hopefully not as much debris in that engine with running regular pump fuel. Got radiator braces in there. Works radiator braces to keep it. You know if I ever do dump it over, radiator braces, the radiator braces will protect the radiators, won't bend radiators. I have to mark the brake, lever. You notice know, so there's no spring on the back side here, but there's a kit fast. I think uh, makes a kit for that to put the spring here, make it a little easier. Silver coated master cylinder, still braided blue brake lines, tusk and pack wheels. I decided to go with the Bridgestone instead of the Dunlop. I was really set on the Dunlop at first, and I decided to go with the Bridgestone Battlecross tires. A little the reviews on them are good for so the Battlecross X30s, so we'll see how they go. If not, I can always go back to Dunlop, but so far they look really good. Tusk brake rotors, Cerakoted caliper, lace these wheels myself, and that's a powder coat. I powder coated that hub, did that all, all in house. Went ahead and put a graphic company sticker on there, thought it looked cool. FMS turbine core silencer. Front wheel, same. Tusk impact, tusk brake rotor. Brand new radiators. Aftermarket radiators, a little bigger. It's supposed to keep your bike a little cooler. Went ahead and went with all the uh, anodized um, covers for this on both, both uh, master cylinders covers. Pro taper bars. I think they look good. And ironically, the bars they had it in the same color as I painted the motor and the subframe. So you can see through that titanium look. So it worked out perfect. Front wheel. Once again, still braided blue brake line. Upgraded from the factory plastic brake lines all the way up. Painted, Cerakoted the caliber here, tusk oversized front wheel, so front front brake rotor. So that brake rotor is a little bigger than the factory, so it's going to give you more stopping power. They call it the oversized brake rotor, so it'll give you a little more power as well. It has the flex discs in here, so you so you always have contact with your your brake pads. So more stopping power, functionality is a lot better. Went ahead and went the Polysport Armadillo pipe guard. 
goes all the way under, wraps around. So it looks pretty neat on there. We'll see how it protects it, but it looks pretty good. Mark away to the other side. A Churby's hand guards. You know, I thought about going with the wrap around hand guards, but I've ran these Churby's MX guards and I love them. I my 450 had them. The 250 I built before this, I put them on, and I mean, knock on wood anyway. I've laid them bikes down several times. They've always protected my levers. They've never broke. They're I, I'm I'm a huge fan of the Churby's. As you can tell, I went went with the oversized 3.2, uh, I believe, gallon of Churby's tank. So I th it looks really good on there. Another boys in cover here. Um, went ahead. It has the um, GYTR. I think it's the 8.6 uh, flywheel in there. That's why you'll see I have a spacer plate because I am running a heavier flywheel. Got the V-Force three reeds along with the electron carb and you'll see this tank has two pickups one on each side so that's nice you don't have to worry about if you get long gas it sloshing around and not sucking up any fuel so that is good went with the uh, primary drive sprocket primary drive chain primary drive front sprocket you know I debated on going with the gold my wife talked me out of it um, I'm glad she did because this color looks a lot better I believe Got one with the kickstand, fast way kickstand, keeps the bikes all the way. And it's enduro bike, so in the woods and everything, or out in the desert trails, stay away from having to lay the bike on the ground if you have to get off, take a pee or something. So, aftermarket shifter. You can see that air box, it's clean, but that's the factory air box. I repurposed it. Um, yeah, Cerakote makes a pad you can just wipe on there and it turns everything to brand new uh, that's supposed to last up for like 10 years or 200 washes and we'll see how it does so far it looks really good also went with the thrill seekers seat cover that was kind of a booger to put on I mean it wasn't as bad as I thought but it wasn't fun but it turned out good I mean other than that the little trinkets, you know, tried sticking, color theme out, blue nut for my forks. You know, these are usually plastic. Went ahead with the anodized blue, so every everything's turned out really well. I'm really impressed. Did did put some bleeders on front forks, bleed the air out. Just little things. Went ahead and put. The, what these do, these are your clamps for your your brake levers and clutch levers. They just make it where you can move. They're tight, but if you ever fall, it'll protect your levers. So little things. So there she is, guys. Uh, I can't wait to get her on the dirt. I was hoping to fill to film a really good video out on the dirt, but unfortunately, it don't look like we'll be able to get to the dirt for the next month or so. Um, just battling a lot of work and other things. So. There she is. She turned out really well. I'm really impressed. Um, happy she runs. So we'll give you some reviews as soon as uh, I get her on the dirt. Hope you enjoyed these videos. I had fun making them. It was a process, you know, waiting on parts and everything for this this bike with COVID and all that stuff. So really hope you enjoyed it. It's fun fun bike to to build. Probably gonna keep this one. The last last one I did, I rebuilt it and sold it unfortunately but I rebuilt it and sold it so I could build another one so you never know I may may end up doing the same thing in times to come so we'll see what happens but for now I'm going to enjoy it run it and uh, have a good time on it hope you guys enjoyed these videos I really had fun making them and we'll see y'all next time